Go loop. It's my first time. Yeah, yeah, it's our first time. You know, we'd all like to come back. Helen Yeher at the Palms, always great to be joined by the one and only, the fan favorite, and the undefeated bare knuckle boxer, Mr. Platinum Mike Perry. Always great to see you. Thank you. It's uh, it's always great to be involved in all this stuff and have these platforms to tell my story to the world and uh, get so much, um, you know, just praise from people. Yeah, well, the fans love you. And listen, they're super excited for your upcoming fight against Luke Rockhold's April 29th, BKFC 41. You guys face off, but they want to know, and I think a lot of them saw, the real question is, did you wipe your boogers on him? Ah, <laughs> yeah, his jacket was a Montclair, and he's got a little platinum boogie on it. I made sure I got that one on there. You know, I try to promote. Oh, you definitely did. But what did you make of it? I mean, your first time, you know, facing off with Luke Rockhold, and you guys, you know, had some intense words for each other on stage. Um, he's game. He's, uh, we're both fighters and, you know, we, we tried to have some fun with it. Um, it's a crazy sport. There's going to be lots of blood. You know, I, I love to say that people are going to bleed and, uh, you know, I just, like I said, he's game. I got respect for him. We're going to fight when the time comes, when we tell that line and it's going to be, uh, intense. I'm looking to land some hard shots on his face and really hurt him and really put a test to, you know, the chin that the internet seems to think is so, um, you know, weak. Like I mentioned, you're undefeated in bare knuckle boxing. He's coming into this, making his debut against you. What do you think he doesn't realize he's getting into? Um, I think he thinks he's fighting a small guy. And I'm sure he trains in a gym with lots of small guys who he can overpower or put his weight on and, and kind of, you know, do what he wants in, in the rounds. And um, it's a much faster pace. I'm not going to give him time to think or feel things out. Um, I just go when it comes time. We toe the line and uh, the ref says fight. And I'm in your face trying to hit you the whole time. So... You know, I'm looking to land some damage on him. Um, I don't think – I'm sure he'll hit me, and I'm hoping to, you know, make sure that when he does hit me, it it's in the right place on my head that I, I damage his hands and make him think twice about punching me again. And um, I'm looking to hit him in, in clean parts of his face and um, make it real dirty. Well, in the press conference, you also mentioned that – you brought him here to BKFC. Can you kind of elaborate on that? Um, I was talking about when he was tweeting, trying to get a fight with a YouTuber, and um, I called him out on it, and I said, well, he said he would outbox a YouTuber, and I said, I'll outbox you, and it's fighter versus fighter. You know, it's not, it's not someone who hasn't faced... Um, you know, opposing opposition before and like in a, in a, you know, a good matchup. So I've been fighting, I've got almost 30 professional fights. I'm not a YouTuber with only five professional fights and with pillows on my hands either. You know, it's bare knuckle and um, I'm an experienced professional fighter. So he must have thought, you know, uh, they, they made him an offer. And I think based off of those tweets, I think Twitter has a lot more power than I ever gave it credit for. And um, so I started throwing things around on Twitter. And then, look, here we are. I'm fighting Luke Rockhold April 29th in Denver, Colorado. And it's bare knuckle. And how do you visualize the fight playing out on April 29th? Um, I visualize myself. I, I got to hit him. I got to make him bleed. And... Um, I want that so bad. I want to hit him. I want to hurt him. 
I want to rock them the same as I did my other opponents. Uh, I almost knocked out two opponents in the first round. And, um, yes, they were tough, and I expect Luke will be as tough, and maybe he'll get up. But I've been working and trying to figure out how I can put these guys away. And um, he's bigger. I have some gaps I think that I can uh, close on him and really uh, put some damage on him and take him out. I think I can finish him. BKFC president David Feldman, he did an interview with the Schmo where he told him that if you do get the win over Luke Rockhold, that Darren Till could actually be a possibility for you next. What do you make of that statement? I mean, who the fuck is that guy? But anyways, I mean, whatever. We all know who Darren Till is. We, um, we all wanted to see me and him fight for a while. And, uh, you know, he talking about they better come with some astronomical offers and this and that. And, um, you know, one at a time, I'm focused on Luke. I got the bigger challenge in front of me. Luke's, uh, in my opinion, a harder opponent than Darren. And um, so once I do beat Luke, then we'll talk because, you know, I haven't heard Darren mention that he wants to fight me. Uh, I guess he had one video. He said, you know, but then he he was just talking about uh, two other fighters that he was trying to fight with. So, you know, whatever, man. I'm going to fight. This is the fight to watch. April 29th, Platinum Mike Perry versus Luke Rockhold. Main event, BKFC 41. And um, all the other ones are just trying to ride our coattails and get some clout. Well, are you going to bring your belt? You told Luke in the one-on-one yeah. -on -one with the Schmo that you have your belt made, right, for this fight? Yeah, uh, Christine Ferreira had her BKFC belt, and I'm like, damn, man, I forgot to wear my my platinum bare knuckle belt to the press conference. I mean, I'm focused on the fight, but I'm the champ for my own division. I got to hold it down, and, uh, you know, it's platinum over gold, baby. And the belt was probably too heavy to be carried on, right? Well, I mean, yeah, probably. Uh, I, I should have wore it on the plane. I should have wore it for days to, while I've been waiting to see him at the press conference. And um, But, you know, I did that for us because the fights that I've been having, they're belt worthy. And, um, well, I'm fighting an ex-world champion in, in two different organizations. So, you know, I'm not going to let them have this one. This is my organization. This is my belt. This is my championship. And it's platinum bare knuckles all up in your face. And for all your fans who can't wait to tune in and watch you April 29th in Colorado, what would you like to let them know? Man, I would like to let y'all know that you can tune in for the fireworks. You already know the day, April 29th. You already know where, ben Denver, Colorado. And shout out to Kenpai Pandas and... MarketCypherTrading.com. Um, and shout out to the Schmo and Helen Yee.